It's not natural. It's the most amazing thing ever. I spent 20 some years trying to keep helicopters right side up, straight and level, and now I get paid to fly them upside down on purpose. We jumped out from 25,000 feet. The net was 100 feet by 100 feet. It was a perfect square. Yeah, but honestly, I was like, what am I doing? Why would I do this? You know, I got a wife and a son. Why would I want to jump out of a plane without a parachute? Anyway, so I'm known as CC Pocock, and there's a reason for that. CC is a nickname. It's not, you know, it's not initials or anything. It's just a nickname, and I can shake it. I, got, I acquired this nickname many years ago, and it stands for Captain Crash because I've had so many actors. <laughs> Now you may call these guys crazy, but I'm here to tell you, they have skill, they have talent, they research their craft, and they train like crazy. I'm Bruce Hafner, and this is That Chopper Guy Show. I always wanted to be a pilot. There was no moment where I changed my mind or decided it was just always there ever since I was a little kid. Aaron Fitzgerald is not just any helicopter pilot. He flies the Red Bull Messerschmitt Bokau upside down. The very first time I went upside down, I was with uh, the guy who taught me. His name is Blackie Schwartz, him and, and Ryan Revilke. And I flew upside down for the first time with Blackie. And then the next day, I went by myself. And I'll tell you, the first one, it was uh, it took some, some uh, nerving up. I had to talk myself into it. And it certainly looks like Aaron is digging his gig. Check him out over the Statue of Liberty. How cool is that? The Red Bull Air Force includes some great skydivers, air race champion Kirby Chambliss, and wingsuiter Luke Aikens, who once decided to jump without a chute. On the day of the jump, everybody asked me if I was scared, you know, what, what I was thinking, and we had done so much practice, so much rehearsal. Um, I'd worked with a sports psychiatrist on some stuff, and we had decided that it was just going to, we were treating it like another jump. So really, when I said goodbye to my wife and son, I said, I'll see you in a minute, gave him a high five, and I treated it just like another jump. So you're focused, but you're not scared. We were 100% certain that if everybody did their job on that day, everything was going to be just fine. And I thoroughly enjoy the research and development, like that was the most was fun for me it was all the practice up to it so on the way down I, I had landing lights we had concentric rings of lights to help guide me in and that way I would say was the best possible uh, solution to uh, I wouldn't do it without those lights that was the key being able to follow and it basically you had input the whole way down of where you needed to move It's just got to be instinct. It's total instinct. Seat of the pants flying instinct. Captain Crash has won the short takeoff and landing competition in Valdez, Alaska. He's also written a great bush and mountain flying book, one that could save your life someday, and he teaches a fantastic bush flying course. So I've crashed quite a few aircraft uh, over the years, but many years ago, I don't do that anymore. Uh, that was all, <laughs> I've learned by my mistakes, <laughs> and right. I was and I was still alive, and in, in fact that's one of the reasons why I actually started the training that I do, is uh, because of all the serious accidents that I've had in the past, all pilot error, all the mistakes I made, and and, and fortunately I survived. I'm still around. <laughs> Right, the takeoff we normally start uh, with brakes on, and uh, when we get to go, we're, we're full power. And a lot of, the, as you notice, a lot of the uh, aircraft raise their tail fairly high. So at the right time, when you just know my airplane is going to fly right now, you yank full flaps and you pull back on the stick, and the airplane should get into the air. The landing, well, uh, just before we settle. Uh, into, into ground effect. I, I'm on the tip of the stall and you'll see that some of the guys, the wings are kind of like wanting to drop and we're working those rudders, keeping that, that airplane level. And as we get into ground effect, we use the, that last portion, that ground effect, just to pitch up a little bit more and just a little bit more power, just to get that stall speed even lower. And the whole objective of the stall uh, competition is to arrive as low and slow as you possibly can, right over that white line, chop the power and nail it very difficult. <laughs> hey folks, as I fly through these beautiful Arizona mountains, why don't you reach back there in the corner, that little red button down there, and go ahead and subscribe to Chopper Guy. Mm -hmm.